KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 14th of April. I'm James Spann. Cold nights will headline our forecast for the next couple of days. We're expecting widespread frost tomorrow morning. Many spots getting a freeze. Same thing Thursday. Then you can go ahead and plant as things start to warm up. Let's take a look at things. This is the upper air look across the country this afternoon. A cold trough digging down into the central U.S. But a beautiful day here today. The sky bright and sunny for most of the state. Note those clouds north of us. That little band of uh, showers coming through Nashville. They've actually got snow falling in the Music City this afternoon. Light snow on April 14th. Temperatures are in the 50s and 60s. Cullman and Haleyville 56, Birmingham 62. Uh, again, we should be in the mid-70s this time of the year based on seasonal averages. And it's even colder up north. They're way below freezing at mid-afternoon through parts of the upper Midwest. Freeze warnings in effect tonight. Uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, and points north. And for Alabama, we have a frost advisory for about the northern half of the state. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Sylacauga, uh, Roanoke, and north up to the uh, Tennessee state line. And clearly, the colder pockets will see a freeze. So if you plan it early you got to cover them up tonight. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. Got the uh, standard risk around Jacksonville and Lake City, Florida. A marginal risk down to Daytona and Orlando. Tomorrow, a marginal risk over North Florida. And day three, Thursday, no severe storms expected across the country. Rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals over North Florida. That uh, yellow patch, that means rain could exceed four inches there. For Alabama, about an inch, and that might be a little aggressive. Uh, I think the next decent rain probably late this weekend into early next week, as you'll see. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Cold trough over the east, and for us, a cool, dry day. And again, we'll be well down in the 30s tomorrow morning. High 60 to 65. After a frosty start, nice day, lots of sun. Thursday, same thing. We'll be down in the 30s. Early in the morning, sunny with a high close to 70. Friday, a little wave comes by, but the latest guidance has really trended drier. And it looks like we can almost take out the chance of showers based on the uh, consistency we're seeing now. High should be in the 70s, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And Saturday looks like a nice day to start the weekend, although it should be a bit cooler with thickness values coming down. Highs back in the upper 60s. And then Sunday, moisture comes in. We'll bring in a chance of rain Sunday. The model's a little faster. This is not going to be a heavy rain event, not a severe weather event, but a chance of some light rain at times, the high close to 70. And Monday, maybe some lingering rain for the southern part of the state. And a week from today, Tuesday the 21st, troughing over the northeast. And again, this is suggesting a chance of showers for South Alabama. Not sure about that. I think a pretty decent chunk of the state should be dry. We do note, though, on Wednesday night of next week, April 22nd, the GFS brings in a more potent system with a deep surface low near St. Louis, and we're in the warm sector. And if this verifies, that could be a severe weather setup, but we all know that's a big if, just something to watch for now. And this is out 10 days, Friday of next week, the 24th, cold trough over the northeast, and we are cool and dry. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble for the next 15 days, the mean between 3 and 4 inches. Temperatures go back in the 70s this weekend and early next week, maybe close to 80 by the middle of next week. In fact, the CPC outlook just in April 22nd through the 28th, suggesting temperatures here could indeed be above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.